Hello Virgo, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star, 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 and welcome to your reading. So Virgo, this is your reading for the month of May, and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid. In this reading, Virgo, uh, we'll see what is your overall energy for the month of May, general messages that you need to know, and the love messages. When it comes to love messages, we'll see the energy dynamic between you and your ex, and the energy dynamic between you and the next. Okay, so let's get started. This is going to be a quick reading, by the way, Virgo. Okay. Link for the extended is in description box and comments section. Let's start. What is your overall energy? We have Queen of Swords. So Queen of Swords is telling me that you will find yourself... Uh, You will be like, I want respect. And if I'm not getting respect from any situation, from any person, that person or that situation doesn't hold any place in my heart and in my life. Okay. So, and I also feel like you will also kind of send an energy. Like, you better take me serious. And if you don't take me serious, you are you are out of my life. Okay. So I, I do feel somewhere, Virgo, that somewhere you're feeling a bit annoyed, a bit irritated about the fact that people around you are not taking you seriously enough or people around you are they don't want to take you serious. They don't want to maybe you you are also feeling like so far, the kind of respect you deserved, it did not come your way. And someone who doesn't deserve any kind of respect, that kind of respect is going to that person. Okay, it used to annoy you a lot. Say, for example, you're a 95 person and you're a very, very hardworking person, which you usually are. Okay, that is your personality, Virgo. And uh, despite the fact that you're working hard so much, and then there is another uh, counterpart, a colleague of yours, who absolutely doesn't work hard, but somehow that person ends up being respected so much, that person ends up getting promoted multiple times, so that person ends up, uh, uh, what shall I say, that person kind of keeps on getting a uh, lot of appreciation, awards and rewards, and literally they don't even have the talent, the kind of talent that you have, they don't even have the kind of capabilities that you have, and... Uh, you know this this has kind of annoyed you maybe you you start you have started to feel that people have felt so much tremendously insecure of you that to pull your mojo down they have purposefully uh, awarded rewarded appreciated someone who is an enemy of yours someone who definitely doesn't Someone who is not even close to you, someone who doesn't even have the kind of capabilities that you have, uh, such kind of people is being uh, put on pedestal, maybe only to pull your uh, motivation down, only to pull you down energetically, only to drain you. So you, you're done with such kind of situations, okay? You're done with people underestimating you, you're done with people not treating you or giving you what you deserve. You have you have experienced something like this in romantic situations as well in the past. I do feel like for some of you, your, your, your exes were actually jealous of you. Your exes were actually in competition with you. Your exes actually felt insecure of you, your talent and your capabilities. Okay? And to pull you down to their level... They did certain things to, they did, they, they disrespected you, they, uh, you know, kept on sending some uh, disrespectful, insulting behavior. So I think so you're done with all such situations where going, I do feel like the month of May is going to be the month where you're going to put your foot, a foot down. You're going to be like, that's it. Enough is enough. 
I'm not going to tolerate such kind of nonsense. I'm not here to tolerate such kind of nonsense. I'm not here to tolerate such people and such situations. Keep such kind of behavior with you. I don't want it. That's what I see with the king, the, the queen of wands. You are standing up for yourself. You are pushing people away left, right and center. You are exiting from situations. You are limiting people's access to you. I also feel like you are also going to follow a lot of secrecy. Like many people are curious as to what you are doing so that they can start planning. I mean, people are curious about you because they want to plan to pull you down, to disappoint you and to bring your mojo down. So they want to keep, they, they want updates about your life so they can ruin whatever you are doing in your life. Okay. So I also feel nowadays you have also started becoming very secretive about uh, what you are doing. Okay, so that's that's the kind of energy I see for the month of May for you, Virgo. Uh, regarding your career and your finances, I do feel like if there are any competitions, whether awards and rewards are pretty monetary, uh, whether awards and rewards are uh, monetary rewards, I do see you're going to win those competitions. And you're going to win those competitions. Like from the very beginning itself, everyone will know pretty clearly that you are going to be the one who will win the competition and you will win that competition and you will win some big amount of money. As far as career is concerned, I told you beforehand only, right? Like this card is simply um, uh, confirming the message that I have told you. Like you are eliminating a lot of people and a lot of situations from your life because they were there to drain you. They were there to exhaust you, to bring depression in your life, to pull your mojo down. And you are eliminating such kind of people out of your life. Uh, especially when it comes to career. Okay. The star. Lot of name, fame, repetition. See, see, see. This is the consequence. The star card is a consequence of actions that you are taking. And what is the consequence? Name, fame, reputation, money. Celebrity status is coming towards you. Why? Because you are clearing all the clutter. You're removing all the negativity from your life. You're standing up for yourself. You you are you have stopped tolerating it. Okay? So the star card in a way is telling me that, you know, there are rewards that are coming towards you in the month of May. Really good rewards. Especially I do feel like if you are, have a presence on social media, like it will be like, there is going to be a stark difference in your followers and subscribers and, and your viewers. Okay. So that's what I see with the star card. Like there are a lot of things that are happening. Hmm. But I also feel like this is not simply coming towards you only because you have decided to eliminate the negativity. Whatever is coming towards you, it is also coming towards you because you have put in a lot of hard work. I told you at the beginning itself, right? You're a very hardworking person. You, you have that inherent personality of a hardworking person within you. So whatever is coming towards you, the blessings that are coming towards you, they are also coming towards you as a result of the hard work that you have put in. Let's talk about your ex. We have the page of swords. This person is stalking you and they are crazy about you even as of now. You might not know that, okay, because I think so in a way you are done with everybody from the past, okay? So whether this person stalks you, they, they want to collect updates uh, about you, they either they are whether they are stalking you in person or stalking you online you don't care about it what i see over here with the page of swords is that i mean you are like let them do what they want to do i care less i don't care what they're doing okay they had a chance they ruined it and now i should i should care about the fact that they are still stalking me no i'm not going to do that okay so yeah people might tell you even your friends might tell you, uh, uh, you might even start feeling after some point of time in the middle of May, maybe, oh my God, I think my ex is stalking me. But 
Anyways, if they want to stalk me, let them stalk me. It doesn't matter to me. I feel like they do have a lot of intentions, but they definitely don't have the guts to come towards you and speak about their intentions. They know they have done something real bad and something very wrong in this entire situation. Let's talk about the next romantic partner. We have three of cups and we have four of cups. So three of cups and four of cups is telling me that uh, you are going to meet your next person, Virgo, when you will be in this energy of healing yourself from the past or when you will be in this energy where you kind of realize that i mean or not realize when when you'll be like i want to isolate myself from the world and i i don't think so i want love in my life at a subconscious level you want love but at a conscious level, you might be saying these thing, things to yourself. Like, I'm going to focus only on work and work is my religion and work is my devotion and work is everything in my life, okay? I don't want love. I don't want to experience relationships ever again. You might be saying these things to people and you might be telling these things to yourself as well. But somewhere deep down, actually, you're the one who is manifesting the next romantic partner. And you're going to meet this next romantic partner, Virgo, when you will be telling something like this to yourself and to people around you. Like, I don't believe in love. You know, I've, I've been there and done that and I'm, I'm done with uh, breakups and I'm dr done with uh, breaking my heart again and again and all that stuff, okay? And I'm not, going to ex I'm not ready for love and I'm, I'm not going to experience... I don't want to experience love ever again and all that stuff. You might be saying these things. First of all, don't say negative things. If at all you are saying these things. Secondly, see, because words have power, okay? So anything, any kind of negative self-talk or anything that... Anything negative that you are trying to talk, you have to really think very carefully about negative language that you are using for yourself. Okay? Never and ever say that. Never and ever do that. Because words have power. And it, the that power is very strong. It has the power to make our words into a reality. So don't say. Fortunately, your subconscious mind is still sane. And your subconscious mind is still manifesting the uh, love of your life. And that's why with Three of Cups, I do see that you're meeting someone special. You are having a very uh, satisfying and a fun and jovial time with, with someone special. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope this resonates. Hit like, share and subscribe. Comment down below. Link for the extended is in the description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you. What action they will take towards you and likely conclusion between you and this person. Alright, take care. Have a great time and bye-bye.